or TIDs. To date, they've assisted various hoteliers, tourism organizations, chamber organizations, and so on with development of these districts at a local level across the country. After our meeting with Civitas, we found out that Alabama's current self-help improvement district laws only allow for these TIDs to de be developed <coughs> in class two municipalities. However, um, the person with Civitas connected us with Silka Mitchell, a Florence Hotel Sales Director and the president of Florence Lauderdale Hospitality Association. Silka had also recently contacted Civitas um, about creating a TID for Florence area. So we, we partnered with Florence Lauderdale CVB and with Civitas to draft an amendment that would change current state law allowing for all municipality classes along with our 67 counties across the state to have the right to create their own TID. After meeting with local legislators, Representative Lynn Greer and Senator Tim Melson agreed to sponsor the bill and present it at the current 2020 general session. We all feel pretty confident that this bill will pass which is why we're here today. One, just as a courtesy to inform you that this is something that we've been working on at our office and that um, we were responsible for initiating the movement and played a major role in creating the necessary amendment to allow for TIDs to be created regardless of community size across the state. But most importantly, to ask for the um, support of the commission um, that should the bill be passed, um, just basically, have support to begin the development of the Limestone County Tourism Improvement District. And so then on the next page, it just kind of tells about it real quick. Um, a TID um, can have many functions, all of which are aimed at increasing tourism. Um, I won't go through it, but right here, there's a little like chart type thing that shows um, the amount that if somebody went and rented a room at a hotel in Athens or Limestone County to date, how much it would cost, taxes and everything and then how much it would cost with a 2% assessment added to it. Um, who manages a TID? An existing nonprofit would fill this role. The business forming the TID decide how the corporation will be structured and how and what the money will be spent on. Um, specifications, TIDs are funded through a self-assessment self on certain lodging stays. The amount of the assessment is determined by business owners at the formation of the district within particular legal guidelines. Um, and how a TID is um, in Alabama will work under the current bill and proposed amendments. Um, it, the amendment would make it available um, to form TIDs in all municipalities, including countywide and multiple jurisdiction, jurisdictional formations. There you go. That's it. What, what's the uh, class two municipalities? What, what is that? It's um, Mobile, okay, Montgomery are finished. basically like the only ones yeah. that can, yeah. uh, maybe Birmingham are the only class okay. two municipalities. Is it, is it in committee right now, the bill? <coughs> mm -hmm. Okay, it's not come out of committee yet? Um, no, actually I think it went, it was passed through committee okay. at the end so, of last week. Well, down at the bottom here, it says, we all feel pretty confident the bill will pass. It says, most importantly, ask for the support of the Limestone County Commission. Once the state passes the bill, and we begin the process of developing the Limestone County Tourism Improvement District. I mean, we don't have to do anything. I mean, we just... No, not, not, like, not like money. But um, I mean, so what what, once it's, when it's formed, so it's basically an assessment the hotels put on themselves. Okay. So, but once it's yeah. formed... Um, we are choosing Limestone County versus the city of Athens because we feel like hotel development from this point forward be more likely be in the county. So um, those that would lie within the city limits of Huntsville which, or yes. Madison City mm -hmm. if they're inside Limestone County, so that you would two, be it, so this two percent from yep, those also exactly makes sense. Um, so um, once the hoteliers, once everybody kind of gets on board, <laughs> we would actually go the us, the hoteliers, and the county commission would just basically go into a contract that says that whenever that 2% assessment, when they pay in their lodging tax, I think to RDS every month or quarter, whatever it is, they pay that 2%. So however the, the lodging tax comes to you guys, the, that 2% would come through as well. So like the commission or whoever handles the lodging tax, they would get like an additional percentage for handling it basically and getting the money to us. Okay. That makes sense. Since it goes through us, yeah. that's why you would have to have us. Yes. 
Got it. And this this bill, if it passes, will be result as a constitutional <coughs> amendment that will be on the the uh, November ballot. Is that correct? I don't know if it has to be. On I the don't ballot. think it has to be on the ballot. Nobody said Somebody anything said about that. Amendment. I just <coughs> said it is an amendment to additional uh, existing bill or a constitutional amendment. I wouldn't think. I don't. Well, it's a state for us. Um, it has to be done by legislation and what we're trying to do is get all the counties to where they don't have to go through the process <coughs> that we're going through right now. Mobile was then a, uh, a, a step two, then they they couldn't include all the rest of the counties, but we can because we're we're one of the smaller counties and we're, we've got um, the Senator Melson and uh, uh, okay. House career you know working with this one thing I wanted to make a, a little bit of correction on when we uh, when Andrea mentioned a nonprofit it's a new or existing nonprofit entity agency or public uh, corporation charged with promoting tourism so that, so that nonprofit has to be some uh, a, a you know like tourism like supporting are. tourism and that's yeah. uh, I just wanted to make sure that, that you understood that it had it couldn't just be any nonprofit it had to be an organization that promotes tourism. And, and for those that don't have the copy of the paper that's broke down, she didn't go over, and for Dion too, let's say on a $100 room per night, it costs about $1.75 extra. That's what that's what you're looking at. $100 a night, you're looking at $1.75 extra would be that <coughs> would be that percentage. So. Yeah. And so it would basically, so for 2019, I've projected that we probably have had about $13.5 million in hotel revenue. We don't have the exact numbers yet. So if we did like a 2% assessment, it would bring in like $270,000. $13 million, right? Mm -hmm. $13 million. And then all that has to be spent on helping Orders. the hotels. Yeah. <coughs> Pretty much right. Thank y'all, ladies. Well, thank you very much for listening to us. All right. Thank you. Thank y'all. Thank, thank you for coming. <laughs> Pam, do we have any more public comment? No, sir. All right. Pam, would you please call roll? Commissioner Samet. Here. Commissioner Turner. Here. Commissioner Black. Here. Commissioner Harrison. Here. Right. Commissioner Samet, lead us in our pledge, please. Yes, sir. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Commissioner Samuel. <coughs> all right. Take the waiter when you get slammed. I'm all right. I'm good. I'm all good. All right. First on the agenda, we'll ask for a motion to approve the minutes from February the 18th <coughs> and the 26th of 2020. Do I have such a motion? So moved. Second. Motion by Commissioner Turner. Have a second by Commissioner Black. I mean, any discussion? No discussion. I'll call for the vote. Commissioner Turner? Aye. Commissioner Black? Aye. Commissioner Samet? Aye. Commissioner Harrison? Aye. Motion carries unanimously. Second on the agenda, I'll ask for a motion to approve claims in the amount of $2,754,826.23. Do I have such a motion? So moved, Mr. Chairman. Motion by Commissioner Samet. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Commissioner Black. Any discussion? No discussion. I'll call for the vote. Commissioner Samet? Aye. Commissioner Black? Aye. Commissioner Turner? Aye. Commissioner Harrison? Aye. Motion carries unanimously. Do we have any conflicts of interest for anything coming in front of the commission today? Everybody's silence. I'll take that as a no. All right. First on the agenda here, on resolution orders, I'll ask for a motion to approve resolution to obtain financing and ex execute a financial documents with Truist Bank for 11 new dump trucks and one low boy tractor in the amount of $1,762,403 at an, in, at an interest rate of 1.75% at the terms not to exceed 15 months from closing. Do I have such a motion? I'll make the motion. Motion by Commissioner Black. Do I have a second? I'll second. Second by Commissioner Harrison. Any discussion? No discussion. I'll call for the vote. Commissioner Black? Aye. Commissioner Harrison? Aye. Commissioner Samet? Aye. Commissioner Turner? Aye. Our motion carries unanimously. Next on the agenda, under contracts, agreements, and grants, I'll ask for a motion to, to approve to submit a COPS grant for the funding of three new deputies at a cost of a cost of three deputies for three years at an approximately 522000 COPS grant will fund to up to 125000 per new hire. The grant would <coughs> be for 375000 with a county's match of 147000 Do I have such a motion? 
I'll make the motion. Motion by Commissioner Black to have a second. Second. Second by Commissioner Samet. Any discussion? No discussion. I'll call the vote. Commissioner Black. Aye. Commissioner Samet. Aye. Commissioner Turner. Aye. Commissioner Harrison. Aye. Motion carries unanimously. Next on under the I will second, I'll ask for a motion to approve a lease of a 2020 Chevrolet Silverado with a VIN number listed there at the sheriff's office at an annual rent for one dollar. Do I have such a motion? I make the motion. Motion by Commissioner Turner. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Commissioner Samet. Any discussion? No discussion. I'll call for the vote. Commissioner Turner. Aye. Commissioner Samet. Aye. Commissioner Black. Aye. Commissioner Harrison. Aye. Motion carries unanimously. Third on here, I'll ask for a motion to, to approve an extend, extension of a memorandum of understanding between the Alabama Department of Conservation and Natural Resources, Wildlife and Freshwater Fishery Divisions, and Limestone County for a period of three years. Do I have such a motion? I'll make the motion. Motion by Commissioner Black. Do I have a second? Second it. Second by Commissioner Samet. Any discussion? This is, uh, this is an agreement <coughs> that we have with them uh, Swan Creek management area they don't have the equipment that they need to be able to say keep up the roads uh, that go back and forth in the management areas if they have trees or anything that goes down uh, this is for us to be able to go in there and do some of that work grade those roads and we get reimbursed for it um, so the state pays us per man whatever piece of equipment it is it's a different price for each piece of equipment if we use a road grader if we use a bulldozer we use a bush cutter any of that stuff is all broken down, so per hour, that's what we get paid, and per ever how many men it is. So this is this is a good agreement. Uh, we don't <coughs> mind helping out, but if the state's got the money to for us to make get money back out of it, that's the way it's supposed to be done. The partnership. So glad to be able to do it. Right. And Ben, I think, can probably use some of this with the peer. No, that's a thing. that's a different agreement. This only it's limited to Swan Creek. Okay. Well, area. I don't. I didn't know if it was or not. I knew it was. But I did talk to Keith Henderson about that this morning, and he said, you know, because we do work on the uh, Maples underneath mm -hmm. the Maples Bridge. We do it at the East Easter Ferry Bridge and at Sportsman's Park, um, and we've got one issue that's that's Sportsman's Park that we're working with them on, and and they can issue a special or emergency. In fact, he's issuing an emergency letter, and it's supposed to be approved today, to allow them to go in and get money to pay for upgrades uh, that was um, done during the, due to damage during the storm. So, right. But that's, that's a separate agreement. Oh, okay. All right. Any more discussion? Thank you all, gentlemen. Well, no more discussion. I'll call for the vote. Commissioner Black? Aye. Commissioner Samet? Aye. Commissioner Turner? Aye. Commissioner Harrison? Aye. Motion carries unanimously. We have no budget revisions, no merchant purchases, no board appointments. Under award of bids, we have two bids here to award um, for um, business cards for printers and, printers and stationery for $371, and the other one is printing craft envelopes with carrier service for $125. Do I have such a motion? I make the motion. Motion by Commissioner Turner. I have a second. I'll second. Second by Commissioner Black. Any discussion? No discussion. I'll call for the vote. Commissioner Turner? Aye. Commissioner Black? Aye. Commissioner Samet? Aye. Commissioner Harrison? Aye. Motion carries <laughs> unanimously. All right, under personnel action, I'll ask for a motion to extend medical leave for Julia McWhirter um, beginning February the 15th of 2020 until March the 27th of 2020. Do I have such a motion? I'll make the motion. Motion by Commissioner Black. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Commissioner Turner. Any discussion? No discussion. I'll call for vote. Commissioner Black? Aye. Commissioner Turner? Aye. Commissioner Samet? Aye. Commissioner Harrison? Aye. Motion carries unanimously. Second under personnel action, I'll ask for a motion to amend the staffing plan to change part-time SRO officers from a grade V5 to a step two to a grade five, step six to change the job description. Do I have such a motion? I'll make the motion. Motion by Commissioner Black to have a second. Second. Second by Commissioner Samet. Any discussion? Uh, this right here, for those that don't know, this was uh, this was put in because what they were making, if they were a substitute uh, student resource officer, say if they came in and worked at the courthouse or worked somewhere <coughs> else, there was a different pay scale than working actually at the schools. So this is just to get them all up to the same uh, level. So if you sub for one, you know, I'd be honest with you, if I was going to have to sub for this one, then be 
uh, a, a step two or I got an opportunity to sub for that one, it was step six. It would have been it would have been crazy not to be able to take it being base. So this just lays it out where everybody's the same. So it's really a it's good all the way across the board. Y'all, I mean, we all kind yeah, of yeah, we agree on it. Like I said, like Mr. Black said, this is just to make it where they substitute, they get paid the same either place. And that's all it is. Any more discussion? No more discussion. I'll call the vote. Commissioner Black? Aye. Commissioner Samet? Aye. Commissioner Turner? Aye. Commissioner Harrison? Aye. The motion carries unanimously. All right, under merit increase, I'll ask for a motion to approve the 16 merit increases listed below. Do I have such a motion? I'll make a motion, Mr. Chairman. Motion by Commissioner Samet. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Commissioner Turner. Any discussion with any of these? No discussion. I'll call for the vote. Commissioner Samet? Aye. Commissioner Turner? Aye. Commissioner Black? Aye. Commissioner Harrison? Aye. Motion carries unanimously. At this time, I'll turn it over to Hunter for engineer's report. Nothing to act on. Nothing but the commission to act on today, Mr. Chairman. <coughs> Thank you, Hunter. Um, so and now under other business, I'll ask for a motion to approve the selling the following vehicles on gov deals, which would be one from council and agent, one from engineering, and um, five from the sheriff's office. Do I have such a motion? I make the motion. Motion by Commissioner Black. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Commissioner Turner. Any discussion? No discussion. I'll call for the vote. Commissioner Black. Aye. Commissioner Turner. Aye. Commissioner Samet. Aye. Commissioner Harrison. Aye. We have no scheduled public hearing, so at this time I turn over the report of officers. Commissioner Samet. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. It's uh, new Monday, same old song. Rain three days out of the week, but uh, anyway, we're trying to deal with it and uh, and make things hold until ho hopefully we can get into paving season. But uh, and also, I'd like to mention for everybody to keep in mind to go vote tomorrow because it's uh, tomorrow's the big day. So anyway. Just uh, appreciate for everybody to go vote. That's all I, I have, Mr. Chairman. <coughs> Thank you, Commissioner Samet. Commissioner Turner? Yeah, Limestone County Water and Sewer Authority is uh, working on Pepper Road right in front of my tool shed today. They're moving a water line so that we can replace the cross drain that's rusted out. So could be a span of time where you might be out of water if you live on Pepper Road, but it it's just for them to raise it up so it shouldn't be long. And then... Uh, Swamp Johns is doing a fundraiser for the volunteer fire department at East Limestone tomorrow afternoon, so go out and support them. I'm sure the fire department can use the funds. All right. Thank you, Mr. Turner. Commissioner Black? I'm just going to mm -hmm. repeat everything they pretty much said. Lots of rain, lots of uh, erosion. Uh, one of the things that we'll be doing tomorrow, I've got a list of about 45 houses that in front of their mailboxes, it has completely washed away where the water comes down out of the driveway, it runs down the side of the road, and it washes away. Well, the mailmen and ladies, they uh, they call from time to time, so I just had the ones that are in my district make a list of the ones <laughs> that need repairing, and it's usually about three shovelfuls of gravel right in front of the mailbox, which keeps that part from washing away any worse than it already is. So it sounds like it's a, it's a small feat, but you know, you go to 45 houses tomorrow, uh, it's going to be a full day with two trucks going, putting gravel out in front of the mailboxes. So it uh, it helps a lot, and it keeps that part of the road from dropping off. So that's it. Thank you, Commissioner Black. Commissioner Harrison? Uh, we finished up Patterson Hill. We had three cross drains that, that needed to be replaced, and one of those was on that hill where we had the problem with the hill actually sliding, uh, It and it has over the years. and, and slid four feet we had a four feet drop uh, back in the 90s and then I've had two slides you know they were minor six to eight inches uh, but you know that's a that's has to be fixed and one of the one of the causes is uh, the water coming down there's a looks like there's a pretty big sinkhole underneath uh, and we we went in last and last week and dug down and uh, bridged across it um, and we've also, one of the drains, cross drains, was dumping in there and eroding, uh, eroding into there, uh, eroding that stuff out where it would slide. So hopefully what we did, uh, we put in a cross drain that will take four times the flow, and hopefully that will, uh, it won't, uh, 
exceed that and go down and, and wash out that road. So hopefully we, we've we we'll just have to wait and see. We've we've not gone back and uh, uh, we've put slag over the top. And we did that, but we won't uh, seal it until we see that what we did will have have a good effect. So that's it for me. Thank you, Commissioner Harrison. Um, I want to recognize <coughs> four of the following um, employees for successfully completing the Alabama um, Jails Training Academy. You know, Corporal David Beckham. Corrections Officer Jacob Lamar, um, Corporal Joseph L Lingenfelter, and Sergeant Janice Williams. They all four created um, this training and done a great job at it. You know, that's one thing, you know, employees, the more training you get, the more qualified to get, the better we are, the better we are to serve the people. And um, tomorrow is election day. Everybody be real careful around all the polling places. There'll be a lot more traffic out around us. There's a lot of elderly probably people out traveling, and the weather's not going to be real good. So. Be real careful around the polling areas tomorrow, and I want to thank everyone for coming. And with all that being said, we'll adjourn until 10 a.m. on Wednesday, March the 11th, 2020, at the Washington Street Courthouse, Annex 310 West Washington Street, Athens, Alabama. Thank you all again.